Hey there, and welcome to this episode of Kingdom Kids, where we are talking about next level advice. And so I have some middle schoolers here with me because they are ready to spill it about middle school, what to expect, uh, what you need to know, anything that they may have thought was going to happen that actually didn't happen. So today I have the fabulous Miss Orin. Right. <laughs> Sorry. And I have Miss <laughs> London Woods here. Hey. Hi. <laughs> I'm super. Oh, the reason I am so pumped about having these two ladies here is because they used to be in GC. Hey, God's creation. Oh, memories. And they are now in seventh grade. They're laughing at me like she is way too much. But seriously, I'm so proud of these young ladies and whatever that they are accomplishing that we are going to get into. Y'all ready? Yes. yes. Okay. So first, here's the easy part for me. Both of you attend the fabulous Grace James. Yes. yes. So shout out to Principal Rhonda Cosby. Shout out to you and all that you are doing for our young ladies. But I would like you all to share what your focus is at Grace James. So whoever wants to go first. So I'll go first. Like right now we're learning about justice and oppression. Like this unit, last unit we're learning about humanity and stuff like that. So we're kind of learning about justice and oppression and like gentrification and stuff like that. So yeah. Okay. All right. Is that So is that about the same? Like does the whole school learn in that or are you kind of focusing on something different? Oh, it's about the sixth and seventh. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it was by grade level. Uh, no, I think the whole entire school. The whole level. school. The whole school. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. School me. I don't know. Cause it's just representing six. simple. Sorry. Oh, and I touch. Hey, we're good. But I'm representing simple. Hey. <laughs> but Grace James, <laughs> fabulous school. I'm so happy for you, ladies, that you all are there. So, okay. I need y'all to go back in time. Y'all ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I want you to go back to your fifth grade year. Go back, think about it. What school were you at? I was at Brandeis Elementary. Yeah. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> yes. <laughs> if I had went back, I thought, because I forgot that I had switched schools so originally for, from pre-K to, f I want to say third, I was at Kennedy Montessori. Okay. All right. So your fifth grade year, you were at? Brandeis. Okay. And your fifth grade year, you were? I was at Whitfield Academy. Okay. All right, so think back. It's your fifth grade year. You're getting ready to graduate. Oh, Lord. How did you feel then about going to middle school? I was excited. I was, like, really happy to go. But I wasn't really thinking about the work and stuff. I was just like, oh, my God, sixth grade. And, then like, I was ready to be, like, talking down to the fifth graders like they was little and stuff. <laughs> I was ready to be old and stuff. I'm gonna need you not to be the mean girl, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, London, how are you feeling? Uh, I was nervous only because it was like a brand new school with just like everything was new and no one really heard of the school until it was like first made. Uh, but it wasn't what I expected. Middle school is like hard, but it gets easier once you like get into like the transition or whatever but yeah it's pretty easy so far okay awesome awesome all right so here we go the advice part all right so we've all we've already went back but now you are seventh graders so you got what a year and a half we're almost we're almost at the half yeah <laughs> we're almost at the half um so you got a year and a half under your belt so let's talk about coping with failure and learning from mistakes. So I have one quote that I want you to think about, and we're just going to kind of talk about it as it applies to where you are now. So mistakes are meant to be made. It's what you do different the next time that matters. How does that apply or how can you know, how does that fit into your world now? I think, like, by the mistake part, like, you'll make mistakes, and, like, I think it's true that you learn from your mistakes because, like, 
of course everyone makes mistakes like we're human but like if you could like mistakes will help you like in the, the next time you try I think it's true because you can reflect on how what mistakes you made last time and like what you can do better the next time so, yeah mm -hmm. yep. you got anything to add any anything that happened in school anything that kind of sticks out from your journey so far uh, I think it was in sixth grade it was towards the end of the year uh, it was for science and we had to make this roller coaster from like scratch and we had a marble scissors a cup piece of tape and a pool noodle to work with and I made a whole bunch of mistakes I'm not saying like it's it's not necessarily uh, it's not necessarily actually never mind no never mind I think no this is going somewhere I like this I like this you said because you said you made mistakes yeah so but bunch. what so yeah okay a whole bunch that and that's what what we just said that's what that's what we're talking about so mistakes are meant to be made so what kind of or what turned it around or how did you turn it around or what did you learn from it that you know you're going to use differently next time I mean I thought about it because it is okay to make mistakes because I feel like if you don't make any mistakes then you can't get better at what you're like doing because I always feel like that you can go higher than you possibly can so with that I thought about it I just sat and thought about it and then afterwards I realized that I did make one mistake several times and that's what caused it like to mess up uh, but after that I fixed that and I was actually okay with how it turned out and it turned out to be great and th see make mistakes it's okay it's okay, I'm grown, I still make mistakes. So mistakes are fine, okay? You, it's what you do different the next time. That's what we're talking about. Okay, so we're gonna move on. All right, now, you all, I, okay, really quick, I have to shout out your parents because your parents are like A team excellent. I love them. They have done an awesome job raising you. And the reason I wanted to give them a shout out first is because I want to talk about loving yourself. Loving yourself. So you ready for the quote? I'm even play a game with you. A, B, or C. Which one? B. V. A. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're supposed to be on her side. I don't think that's how it's supposed to go. Oh. But, okay, so um, let me start with B. Never let anybody call you stupid, including yourself. Okay. How does, yeah, how's that, how's that fit in? Because right now we're, like, even though, even though I teach elementary, they, man, they got mouths. <laughs> they, they will just say whatever. But, I, but as you get older, it doesn't really get any better. So how can that apply to really loving yourself? Never let, never let anybody call you stupid, including yourself. I don't think that anybody should be calling anybody stupid. Uh, because we all learn differently it just takes a process uh, and for them to actually like get it so I don't I don't really think anybody should be calling anybody stupid yeah, I agree because like if you call somebody stupid or you call yourself stupid it's like you can learn like but if you call yourself stupid then you're fine with letting anybody else call you stupid because like you can learn from I guess your stupidness or whatever, it just doesn't click in my head. I can't. <laughs> I, lo I love how you said that, though. <laughs> but yes, but you can learn. There's no reason for, you know, you to call yourself stupid, okay? And, and because we are here at the castle on Kingdom Kids, hi, welcome again. And we are God's children. Does God think we're stupid? No. Absolutely not. So... There is no reason for that. All right. So with a little bit of time that we have before we go to break, I do want to talk about, again, shout out to your parents because they rock. Being a good person. So 
I'm going to go, you said B, you said A, so I'm going I'm to do A, okay? We ready? So, help build each other up. We're all in this together. Oh. Yeah, oh, whoa, oh, 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 I struck a nerve. Uh-oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it's just like, it's hard, because, like, it's not hard. It's just, like, you wouldn't, like, when you're building somebody up, what do you mean by build somebody up? Like, you're, like, like, cause if I build myself up, it's like telling myself like, oh, you can do it. Come on, mm -hmm. keep going. Mm -hmm. Like, but it's like, it's not hard to build somebody else up. But it's like, you want to build your own self up. So it's like, ugh. But like to build somebody up, you got to like build, build, be able to build your own self up. So it's like, yeah. No, yeah. You're on the right. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You're on the right track. I love it. Helping to, let me get it right. Help build each other up. Cause we're all in this together. So. She literally stole the words out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are, um, was there any time, any projects, any anything happening at the school that can go along with helping to build each other up, you know, to make sure you get the job done? Anything you can think of? Uh, um... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they've been through so much during the first year and a half, people. They've been through so well, much. Actually, yes. Because, like, during the pandemic, we were on online school. Me and my friends would have, like, a little group chat, and we would, like, um, do the work together. And, like, we would kind of, like, I guess encourage each other to do it because we didn't want to do it. We would just... <laughs> we, <laughs> Sorry. Because it was like, why? It was like online school. You just staring at the screen. But, like, we would build each other up to do it. Come on, let's do it together, you know, like that. Okay, all right. It was also the simple things like just turning on your camera. I, I hated it. I hated it. I would always talk to my friends and be like, why didn't you have your camera on? Yet I don't have mine on myself. And my mom, she told me like several times to turn it on. But I'm sorry, mom, if you see this. I turned, <laughs> when you left, I did turn off my camera. I, oh, I couldn't goodness. do it. <laughs> Oh, gosh. So you, you were building other people up by their camera was off, so now my camera's off, too. Okay. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. <laughs> but right now, this has been so much fun and just talking to these ladies. So, but really quick, we're going to take a quick break, and we will be back on Kingdom Kids. On the next Kingdom Kids, we'll be talking about economics one-on-one -on -one as it pertains to kids with my guest, George Demery. You won't want to miss it. See you then. Hey there and welcome back. We are talking about next level advice. And we are back with Miss Oren and Miss London. And they attend the fabulous Grace James. <laughs> All right, so huh, let's get into another topic. So Finding your passion. I love this topic because you all attend Grace James. It is a specific school for specific reasons. I love it. Finding your passion. So finding a career or a job that makes you excited to get out of the bed. Yeah. On this path that you are on, do you have an idea of what, you know, where you're going? Oh, you, oh yeah. both of them shaking their heads. Come on, spill it. Let's go. So right now, I'm in Develop Career Choices as a class, and it's kind of like helping us find our pathway of what career we want to go on. So like, either like health science, or we want to be like in, go to law school, or like be a judge or an attorney or stuff like that. So for me, so in the future, I want to run track, obviously, because you know, and then, <laughs> yes. And then also, I would like to be either a judge or a lawyer and go to law school because it just, like, it sparks, like, a passion of mine. Just, it looks like, like, just, like, looking at it and, like, researching on it looks fun and, like, something I'd be interested in and something I have a passion in. And it makes me want to get out of my bed and go to school and learn about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. I love it. Okay. You might, you might have to. No, no. I was going to say, you might have to represent me one day. No, we're going to hope <laughs> that you never have to do that. <laughs> okay. All right. Come on, Linda. Okay. So I would say I had the first idea in like, I think it was towards the end of sixth grade because it was like the shows that I used to watch. There's a show called The First 48. I love that show. That's a show. 
Uh, <laughs> I would always be so invested. If I ever went over to my cousin's house, she always had it on. I'd be so invested, and then once, like, we're leaving, my mom, she asked me why I would be so invested in that show, and I'd, like, literally break the whole case down. Uh, I want to be a forensic scientist when I get older. Uh, I think it was seventh grade that really set me there, because we have this we have these things in STEAM uh, called modules. My first one was nursing, the first one that I ever got. Um, I didn't like it that much, but I was okay with it. My first choice was forensic science, obviously, and I got that the second time around that we had our module, and we learned some really cool things, me and my partner, and I think that's what really set it for me for what I want to do when I get older. Love it, and all, and of course, all of this is at Grace James, right? Shout out again to Principal Rhonda Cosby, doing a great job. They they pumping your school up. I love it. I love it. Come on, first forty eight. Yes, <laughs> love it. Love it. My husband is rolling his eyes right now. Okay, so let's keep talking. Let's talk about something that most students don't like to do unless they're super focused. Some adults don't like to do it, and that's listening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -mm. no. <laughs> mm -mm. She gave me a mm <laughs> over here. <laughs> so let's talk about listening. All right, so I kind of want to talk about both of these things that I have noted, okay? So the first one, listen more than you speak when you're trying to get new skills and knowledge. Okay. Y'all got some friends that talk too much, won't be quiet? Yes. Okay. I'm one of the friends. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Okay, so let's talk about how y'all should listen more since y'all are the oh, ones that are talking too much. Let's talk about that. Okay, so we were in the gym yesterday um, ready, getting ready for a dismissal to go to our first um, our first period, and Miss Cosby <laughs> was like, "Y'all, listen up, because y'all got two ears and one mouth for a reason. <laughs> y'all need to shut your mouth and listen with y'all two ears, because everybody was talking in the back because they weren't listening. Were you in the back? No, I was in the front. Okay, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I was in the front. I was like in the way front because I got it because I had to go, and um, so I was. She, she said that, and I was like. Hmm, I should probably apply that to when I'm talking too much because sometimes I just be going. <laughs> I don't know when to stop, so I should listen more because listening work could really help because if you're talking too much, it could lead to other problems like communication and like, you know, if you're working with a group and you're talking the most and like, you know, it could just lead to other problems. So try to balance out talking and listening because if you're not even talking at all, then you couldn't be like, like, um, you know, in the group or wherever you're doing. So you could like balance it out and do a little of both. So yeah. Yeah. All right. I agree with you what she said at the end. I may be snitching on myself, but today <laughs> for first period, uh, we were doing something with like the round table, like with circles. It's kind of getting into algebra, just like a little bit. <sighs> Although I have no idea why somebody put alphabet in math. Oh my! The God. alphabet in math is uh, just so hard. Horrible. Uh, but today, I would say I was more talkative than I ever have been, only because I thought it was hard. But I didn't necessarily give up. I was just like waiting and thinking, so I can get my mind straight. But I think. I could definitely listen more because I kind of had a clue what we are doing, but then again, I kind of didn't. Uh, so I think that's what got me confused. But <laughs> I do agree that I could listen more and do a little bit less talking. But I can do both. Sometimes it was just, this was really hard. So, just one time. Can I yeah. do one more just quick one thing? One See, look at you. you know. Wait, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I'm just going to listen. Go ahead. So kind of what London said, today's math was hard, but I, you know, I'm, I think out loud because like if I'm thinking in my head, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> like, I got to think out loud because I'll say it and then she'll be like, guys, please be quiet. I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> and we have the same math. Like, oh. I do the same thing too. Like, I, don't <laughs> like God. God. I have to do it. Otherwise, my brain would just combust with like all For the thoughts just running inside my head. I love it. 
like, I love it. I, you know, because I think out loud and, and, you know, they're like, are you talking to me? Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah. nope. And then just people just be staring at you really awkwardly like, who are right. you talking to? And I just have to play it off the best person you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm oh, sorry. See, you do it again. <laughs> Okay, so let's move on, move on, moving on, moving on. So, but listening, because we're going to go back and we're going to recap all the topics that we talked about because you all, <coughs> so sorry, you all are bringing this, um, the next level, like you're bringing your next level thoughts and you're sharing them with the elementary students. So we're going to go back and recap everything. But the last thing that I want to talk about is how to persevere, how to keep on moving. Okay, sorry. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, we're going to play that ABC game again. One more time. A, B, or C? C. C. Look at y'all. <laughs> look, at, look at y'all. All right. And I kind of like this one. I like all of them. And um, by the way, these are quotes and things that a lot of teachers wish that some teachers had said to them, but these are things that they now say to their students that I got from Edutopia. So... Shout out to that whole Edutopia crew for putting it online for me to use. Thank you so much. All right. So they picked C. Never give up, even when it seems like it's your only option. Never doubt that there are people in your corner. So in this, we'll kind of flip it around just a little bit. In where you are now, where you are now, how does that sit with you? Y'all need me to read it again? It was kind of long. Yes. Y'all good? Okay, yeah, I'm going to read it again. Think about how that sits with you now. Never give up, even when it seems like your only option. Never doubt that there are people in your corner. Oh, that kind of goes with today, kind of, with the algebra and math. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Okay, so I was, like, towards the end of it, um, I was already thinking on, like, giving up because, like, half of it was already hard. And I already had a partner, we were working together, and she was also like really confused. And my teacher, she was in like a little study group or whatever, helping other people. So I was trying to focus like really hard on it and pushing out that side that says give up. Mm -hmm. But uh, I almost did. I was really, really close to doing it. But uh, I just, pushed it out harder and uh, I think I did good to where I got now because I'm almost like really close to finishing it uh, but you just have to push that side out that says give up and just keep going when things are tough. I'm kind of going to agree with that too because today I gave, I gave up like a couple of times but then I came back because like my teacher, she was there, like, but there's a bunch of us in there. So it was like everybody was trying to, you know, get it in their head. And, like, I agree with Linda, it was hard. And um, everybody was trying not to give up in my class pretty much. And the teacher was trying to help everybody. And I was just like, I don't feel like doing this. I'm going to give up. But, like, I had to keep coming back because me and my partner, I had a partner too. I had two partners. And we didn't get it at all, but we kept persevering and trying to get through it. And um, so also I have another like scenario, I guess. Um, in ELA, in English, we were doing this um, assignment with like different lessons that we had to finish. And there was a deadline on Tuesday we had to finish it. So we had to work on it over the weekend. And I did not want to do it. And I was like, oh my God, I don't like doing this. But I did it anyway, and I finished it. And I was persevering, and I kept pushing through, and I finished it. So when it came to Tuesday, I was done, and I turned it in, and I got free time, and I got to do whatever I want. So if you persevere, there could be rewards and, you know, um, like consequences if you don't. So just think, like, don't give up and, like, keep pushing through. So, yeah. That was great. Great final words of advice. I'm going to roll through what we've talked about really quick. Ladies, I so appreciate you. So we have talked about coping with failure and learning from mistakes. We said that mistakes are meant to be made because you can learn from them. And you just, it depends on what you do differently, right? Mm -hmm. So also loving yourself and being a good person. Because you got to love you first, right? Yeah. And then in on top of loving yourself first 
and building yourself up, then you got to go what? Build other people. You got to go build up other people. <laughs> One's like, man. <laughs> this is hard, man. <laughs> the hard part is myself. It's not other people. Like, I could easily pump someone up or do something like that because I'm just that type of person. But when it comes to myself, I can't really think anything like automatically that just clicks to my head like I can do with other people. It's the opposite for me. <laughs> okay, so when you see her in the hallway, you you go on and go and build her up, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm I just did, though. <laughs> you did? Yeah, you did. I was like, hi, Linda. It's, like, rare for me to do it. <laughs> I can do it. It's just, like, really rare. Like, at home, if my parents were to say something to me, that's when, like, I'll start, you know, piping myself up. Yeah. But, like, yeah. if it's around <laughs> other people, I'll just think that they think that I'm, like, too confident or too cocky or whatever, but I'm not. So. We're not worried about we're not worried about other people. Build them up, but it's you first, okay? So loving yourself, being a good person, finding your passion, finding something that makes you want to get out of bed. Listen, listen, listen. Miss <laughs> Courtney, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Please listen. Just as for the grown-ups too. Listen. Shh. Just listen. I think you can relate to that because there's many times in choir rehearsal where I've, I've heard, I heard it, but it was going out my other ear because I was, I wasn't talking. Me too, though. There was people <laughs> next to me having a very interesting Mrs. conversation. Mrs. Courtney would get mad at me, <laughs> and I remember you just like to stare. You would just, you would just, just be standing there. Like, y'all just up there talking. <laughs> Hirsch. Okay, let me hurry up and move on. All right, so make sure that you listen, and lastly. Definitely push through, persevere. You've got this, whatever it is, it's in you. Actually, I just talked about this last night with God's creation, um, about being enough. You are enough. With, with God, you have everything that you need inside of you. Just go ahead and do what you need to do. Right? Yep. Ladies, it's been real. I thank y'all so much for this time being here at the castle. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the castle. Thank you. And at home, I hope that you got some great advice for your kiddos, those fifth graders who are getting ready to go to middle school, um, even just being fifth graders now, take this advice. Use it every day. Know again that with God, you are enough, you have enough. Make sure you listen, push through, be a good person, love yourself. I'm gonna say listen again, <laughs> because oh that's God. the hard one. <laughs> and always learn from your mistakes, all right? So that is gonna do it for us here at Kingdom Kids. Be sure to tune in next time, and as always, wear your crown. Bye. 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 <laughs>